Hi folks, this is Max from uh, Nexus4Root.com. Now, if you're looking for another great uh, ROM to flash on your Nexus 4, um, check out Xenon HD ROM. Uh, this one is based off latest Android 4.2.2. Uh, offers some similar uh, customizations, similar to AOKP, uh, maybe Xylon. Uh, but kind of, let me show you around. It's got ROM settings of its own. Um, let me show you some of the stuff I did. Uh, general UI. Uh, I changed my custom carrier label um, to high on Android, so you can see that it's high on Android instead of whatever AT&T, whatever it is. Um, show notification count, I like to keep that on. Uh, status, brightness slider, kill all button, recent RAM bar, these you should always put on. You can also change to phablet or tablet mode, that will bring your notification uh, bar to the bottom if you put it in tablet mode. Um, annual dual pa panel. That's for the settings. You can have it in tablet mode, so it's in dual panel if you want. LCD density, I won't really mess with it too much. Also, uh, Pi controls if you want, it's right there. Um, let me just disable it for now. Um, and uh, there we go. CRT, C CRT off and CRT on. Um, you get that, you know, TV effect if you want. 180 degree rotation uh, if you want to be able to use your phone. I mean, that's common sense. I don't know why it's not enabled in stock ROMs. Um, so very similar to AOKP. In AOKP, uh, in the lock screen, you'll find similar settings to AOKP. Also, you'll be able to allow all widgets, unlimited widgets. Um, navigation bar. This is where I've added my own shortcuts because I don't really like it like this. I like it kind of um, you know, on the right for the home, recent and back bar. And also, um, I've got, you know, I've got uh, long press action for my camera. It's gonna take a screenshot, which kind of makes sense. So I can always take a screenshot by holding my <laughs> camera button, or I can go straight to my camera, which is nice. So you can always customize all of your buttons. So instead of ha just having five, you can actually have 10 actions. Um, so make use of that with custom ROMs. Uh, launcher themes, you can get different themes. It's compatible with AOK PCM 10.1 themes on the market or CM10 themes or even CM9 themes probably compatible um, so you get a bunch of themes uh, which will change your battery um, you know your whole UI you can play with that and also performance there is no overclocking yet on this one but you can install an overclockable kernel um, I don't I don't actually see any requirement um, any necess necessity for this phone because it is so fast out of the box the only thing I think it's missing from Nexus 4 is storage. Uh, I'm always running out of storage. And uh, this is definitely not a gamer's phone. If you play a lot of HD games, you're going to run out of space quick. Anyway, um, that's it. Check it out. But it's a very nice ROM. I'm also running this on my Galaxy Nexus, um, so I'm very used to it. Uh, but another great ROM you can flash on your Nexus 4. And uh, do let me know what you think. Um, let me know what your favorite is out of all of those ROMs on my site, nexus4root.com. And also, um, if you have a Nexus 4, as always, don't forget to sign up for my email list at nexus4root.com. Uh, we update you once a week with ROM of the Week tips, hacks, and more. And also, if you are watching this on YouTube, please hit that like button for me here, subscribe button down there, and uh, keep um, you know having more overviews of um, other ROMs you should try that are solid. You know, anyway, thanks you guys. Um, stay high on Android. I'll see you guys later. Uh.